Okay, so today it is, I think now our third day here in, in Seoul. Um, and today we are going back to my apartment. Um, I saw it yesterday, but I was getting toured around so I didn't actually film anything. So today I'm going to film stuff, measure out some things, remove my bed, and then go to Ikea, which is like almost an hour away. But let me show you my outfit. Okay, so nothing that I brought here was like appropriate for Korea wear because everything was either too revealing or like too tight. Um, so I got this for $10 the other day. Um, okay, there's a coffee table here, so I can't step back. But this top that is mine. And then I'm wearing this little throwover pants. <laughs> and then that's basically it. But I'm basically wearing all full knit in like almost 40 degree weather. And a mask at all times. Okay, we'll see you later. Paper towels, toilet paper, cutting board, tissue paper, all boring things. Oh my god, I got a mirror. I want to like kitchen stuff. I don't know what else I need. Let's, let's look. Ooh. Okay, we're finally back and we got all of this. Um, so I thought I'd show you while, while I'm taking it out. Okay, got some bath slippers because uh, the bathroom is like, the, the shower is like half a glass door, so got those. Okay, this is gonna be very boring because they're very much like kitchen, you know, no like decor things. Tissue paper, sugar, salt, pepper, maybe. Little scrubby dub, some bag sealers, cover gloves, little sink um, like holder thingy, belongings, a coaster. Some cotton dish towels and a strainer. All of these were pretty cheap. Everything ranged from maybe 3,000 won to what was the most expensive thing? I think the most expensive thing was 5,000 won, which is like around like $5 Canadian. Got cling film and a set of chopstick spoons. Got an ice cube tray. Very boring things, but very necessary. I got two bowls, bowl, bowlish plates. Um, these were 2001 each, so around like $2 Canadian. But all I have are these for now, and we'll see what else I need to get. I think now we're going to kind of clean up this place. I want to move my, my bed is situated over here right now, and I want to move it to the window. Also, I don't know if you can hear me well because the AC is right above me so that might be a little loud. Yeah, I want to move like this console table over there and move the bed over here so hopefully the place will feel a little bit bigger if I do that because um, it's kind of a shoe box but that's okay sometimes. We have been here for so long and um we got a bunch of stuff. I don't know how we're gonna bring this back. I think we're gonna have to ask for one of the workers to like help us hail a cab. Because <laughs> we have all these things. And this is a couch and this is a coffee table. I don't really know how like delivery service works here. And all these things is like manageable to carry ourselves like up to my apartment. It's just the transportation of the hour back to like Seoul, you know? Um, we'll see what happens. So we've managed to do their delivery service because this is all the stuff that we're taking home. And it was such a struggle because language barrier. And we couldn't understand each other, so we just used Cabbage. 
Okay, so we just got back from Ikea and then we quickly went to Costco and we got this, this rug. We're gonna go grab dinner because we haven't eaten since 11.30. Um, but now it is almost 11 p.m. and we're going to walk to like more central Gangnam to get food again to the same place we went to our first night, but it's too far and we're so tired. So instead we went to um, CU convenience store and this is what we got. Two pairs of chopsticks. Um, I got, no, my mom got this. This. I got this one. I cannot eat spice. I wanted to try their banana milk. So I'm excited for this. I don't know what this is. My mom got that. A salad. And some eggs. That we're gonna try to put into our ramen. They're boiling some water right now. And then we're gonna start eating and they'll probably just have an early night because this is exhausting. I think tomorrow we're going to um, probably Oh, I need to go back to my apartment to hopefully get my SIM card. It was supposed to arrive today, but it has not. Um, so hopefully by tomorrow I'll have my Korean phone number because I need my Korean phone number in order for IKEA to call me for the delivery. Um, so they can tell me when they're coming. So lots to do tomorrow as well. But yeah, this is today first actual day going to the apartment and cleaning some things up getting some stuff that's pretty much it what the heck is happening in my hair it's so hot okay that's it bye hello everybody so i just got off work training um i've been training since uh monday and today it is wednesday um, I got off work early today and we're planning to go to the little like Starbucks, floating Starbucks thing. Um, it is my mom's third last day here. Technically second. She leaves like Friday morning. Um, so I'm starving. I was going to show you like the process of moving in and everything, but I did none of that. So I'll show you when I have time later on. Maybe I could be a solid. Maybe it could be something more mm. Well baby it's always summertime When I'm with you that's not a lot high well, Maybe you could be my solace Only my talk that we don't care Here's a quick Airbnb loft apartment in Gangnam if you're interested and here it is. It's a pretty spacious area. I don't know why the couches are like kid sized but it did the trick. Um, the upstairs you actually can't like stand up fully. It's only like a half floor level but it's it was fine. Um, we didn't stay at home too much because my first week there we just explored a lot of different districts around Seoul and I actually vlogged that and my flight over to Korea as well and that involves some crying, a lot of stares on the plane, um, but I don't know if I want to expose myself so let me know if you guys want to see that and maybe I'll edit it and put it together. But we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!